The Messenger of Allah said the hour will not be established until people will vie with each other, compete with each other in creating the largest masjid. Now I don't know the situation in Malaysia, but if you want to see a reality of this, you come to the UK, you come to the Europe. Every city is competing with each other in creating the largest masjid. If their masjid is 50 meters high, ours must be 75 meters high. If their minaret is 75 meters high, ours must be 100 meters high. And we must have the largest masjid. This is a sign of the day of judgment. Because you're not doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even your masjid become a sign of your pride. Even your masjid become a sign of your haughtiness, of your wealth. And you compare that to the masjid of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam masjid was what? 30 meters by 35 meters. That's it. There was no fancy chandeliers in the masjid. No fancy carpet in the masjid. But can you imagine the soul that came from that masjid? Can you imagine the first stuff of that masjid? Can you imagine in the first stuff you had Abu Bakr, you had Umar, you had Uthman, you had Ali, you had Abu Dhar, you had Bilal, you had Khalid, you had in the women's section, you had Fatima. You know, and all the wives of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all the other pious women, radiallahu anhum. Can you imagine? 35 meters by 35 meters. That's all it was. But the masjid had a soul. And the Messenger of Allah said to Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu anhu, he said, one of the signs of the day of judgment is that you will adorn your mihrabs, but your heart will be corrupted. Your mihrab, you will spend plenty of money on your mihrab, but your heart will be sick. Hudayfa radiallahu anhu said, out of the 72 signs of the day of judgment is that people will start having pulpits which are high. The sunnah was three steps. Now you have pulpits to which will have 20 steps. These are signs. And you see, subhanAllah, the amazing thing is that all these signs are within our time. You know, if somebody had said to me some of these signs about 40 years ago, you know, I won't give my exact age away, about 40 years ago, we would have believed it. Really. We would have said impossible. No way. But within our lifespan, we have seen this come true. Many of these things within our lifespan. Can you imagine the Messenger of Allah said these 1400 years ago?